All right, guys, we are back December 1st, 2023. I'm going old school again with the iPhone. Man, I am sorry. I've been recording OBS on a Mac and the damn videos. I did a live stream. And then when it saves it, it just stutters it. I'm sorry. I had no idea. I thought maybe the live stream would be better. I totally flushed out OBS from my Mac. Got the new version. Been testing with it. It seems to be better. But I'm going to use the iPhone for now because this is important. This is good stuff today. Again, it's all learning experience. So first of all, blammo, we got over the uh, $100 valuation again because that is my Bitcoin holdings right there, guys. The number of Satoshis. And <clears throat> that is based on the Bitcoin spot market price, which is blammo. Where is it? Where is it, Big Daddy? 38743. 38,743, it has gone up a thousand smackaroos in the past, uh, I don't know what, the, I don't know what the metric is, I think it's, I think it's um, a, a revolving, a re, uh, revolving 12 hour, 24 hour window on that price, because uh, it says in the last 24 hours, all right, so that is the current price, 38,743, even the little stupid Litecoin, stupid, 7174, that was a mistake buying that, I fell into that trap. Uh, just should always just buy Bitcoin, get Bitcoin, get paid in Bitcoin, 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 Ethereum. I don't know the guy that runs it. I don't know what's going on with these people. I don't know what the plan is. And they went uh, proof of stake after that mining whole thing. I lost interest. Uh, oh, Tesla's down. Damn it. Uh, da, 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 da. Hopefully that'll come back. Let's see. Let's go back. All right. Some other news. So we are currently mining yet uh, over a week now. Six devices, 3900 X's. Uh, da, da, da. I'm at $10 and 13 cents a day. I've been playing around with these rigs. Oh my God. I've been playing around with these rigs, reading about temperature control, how to address the Ryzen 3900 X's on your motherboard and why would they be running hot? Several different answers, several different approaches from what I found researching. Uh, one was that these 3900s do run hot and they are made that way. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Other, the other one was the BIOS on the motherboard you use is not really set up correctly to run with these Ryzen 3900 AMD uh, chips, these CPUs. So you have to go in and tweak around some stuff. I did, I was playing around, but again, my uh, BIOS is MSI, the X470 Max Gaming. I have some F X570s. I don't know why I picked those, I just liked them. And they weren't too expensive at the time. And they worked well with GPUs. So I did, I played with the BIOS settings. And again, no joy. Didn't really have the settings I wanted to mess with. And pretty much I was overclocking the AMD stuff on the BIOS. I said, I don't want to mess with this if I fry the board. And I tried some stuff. Wasn't really doing what I wanted it to. I said, screw this. And then I realized, man, I haven't touched these motherboards in a couple of years since I bought it. I don't think I even flashed them with the, well, I flashed my GPU rigs with the latest BIOS just to help solve some of the PCI problems. I was having not recognizing multiple GPUs and blah, blah, blah. Uh, so I never did these CPU rigs. I just got them right out of the box, hooked them up, slapped the CPU on, slapped on the old thermal paste, of which I remember I, I went crazy like peanut butter on that bastard. So I don't think it's a thermal paste issue with my temperatures. Again, the only thing I can think of is these boards are hanging from a cookie rack, a, a wire rack, a baking rack. They are not in a case with directed airflow, so that may be an issue, but again, whatever. Uh, I don't want to go buy a case. I'm not spending any more money on this hardware. I'm just trying to say, hey, CPU mining is up. Let's turn these rigs back on, heat up the room, uh, make some noise, and maybe make a couple bucks. So, you know, we're at $100 valuation right now on Bitcoin. Again, based on the spot price of 38,000 something. It'd probably be below 100 if it was holding at 37 like it was last night. You just don't know. The key is I'm stacking those little Satoshis 00262549. It's ridiculous if you think about it. But that is the way it is. All right, let's talk about this damn temperature thing. I gave you the background. Bio settings, uh thermal paste, no, no, negative. Then I said, let's go in and just reset the motherboard. I went in, popped the CMOS chip off, the, I mean the battery, pulled out the power cable, everything, let it sit for a few minutes. Boom, 
maybe 10 minutes, plugged the battery back in, plugged the power back into the power supply, fired her up. Oh my God, I arced it, man. I made a spark and went, shit, I thought I fried the motherboard. Now I, I re turned everything off again and powered it back up. Careful when you're jumping the pins, you don't touch anything else. Ooh, that was fun. I thought, oh, there went. that was an expensive mistake, but no, it was all good. Back up and running and then um, did not, met, you know, reset the BIOS. And then I said, all right, let's just update the BIOS. Went to MSI. Download site, very easy. You just download the BIOS for your motherboard. Move it, uh, unzip it, move that folder to a flash drive. Put that USB stick uh, in your uh, rig, your, C your motherboard USB slot, whatever. Uh, what I do, I go in, I boot up in BIOS mode, hit delete when it's booting up, boom, go into the MSI BIOS. And I say enter flash mode, and then I uh, stick in the memory stick, it reboots. It comes up in their special MSI flash BIOS mode, 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 whatever. I was repeating myself in that uh, BIOS mode. And then you pick the folder with the correct MSI BIOS version you want to you want to install, you want to flash with. And then you do not touch anything. Do not turn the power, you'll fry it, it'll be lost. So takes about 20 minutes, all good, rebooted, came back and booted right up, which is sweet, did not fix, uh, let's see, did not fix the uh, temperature issue, I thought maybe it might have fixed something, all good, whatever, uh, stop nice hash miner, I said, all right, not going to mess with the bio settings, let's go into uh, Ryzen Master again, and let's go over there, all right, let's go to Ryzen Master, I did a couple settings, so let's do six. So here's Ryzen Master. Again, this is like overclocking your thing. Be very, very careful. If it doesn't take, your screen will flash and reboot. And then the uh, Ryzen Master will come up saying, those profile settings did not work. Reset to default, which is a nice fail safe. So you don't totally brick your CPU or your motherboard. So here's what I was playing with. I went into manual mode. I said, all right, it was running at 1.3. I remember watching a video earlier today about the, 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 the correct BIOS settings you should have if you can tweak them in your BIOS. And he was saying 1.11, something like that. These have been defaulting at 1.3 plus, 1.4. Um, and then the video, the guy was saying that's a bit high. So what I did, I just went into manual and I put the CPU voltage at 1.1. Started it up. Let it, it's been running now for 10 plus minutes. I'm getting lower temperatures, hoorah, from 90, 80, high 80s, let's say high 80s, down to, yeah, high 80s, running, under load, nice hash mining, X Monero, and uh, it's 161 a day, same as it was, but lower temperatures. All right, I did that one. Let's go do eight. So that was 1.1 voltage run, and running 160 at 59. So here is one point. Oh, I did 1.1 there too. Oh, man. All right, that's the same. So eight, rig 8 is 1.1, same clock speed, 3600, running at 62, same price point, 157 at 62, 58. All right, pretty pretty comparable. Let's go to 7, blammo. I have an HDMI on this puppy already, so let's just go over here. <clears throat> let's just go over here. And this is running 1.2 voltage, just playing around. Higher temperature point, roughly the same price point. So what I'm, I don't know if this is safe for the CPU. I'd be mucking with the voltage, but a CPU voltage, well, hey, I'm getting lower temperatures. And uh, the um, hash rate's pretty much the same, and the price per day is the same. So let's see, 0.04144. 0.04169 so on the 1.1 it's getting a better hash rate than the 1.2 and so it's 0 0.04162 0 0.01 0 0.041s yeah 0 0.041 a little lower on this one so it's all fluctuating within you could say within a margin of error right pretty much the same and but with lower temperatures so this one this rig i think what we'll do let's go ahead and stop it let's do it together Let's, I don't know what I'm doing, dude. I am just whack-a-mole, just playing around. Because, again, I tried the bio stuff. 
if I had a better BIOS tweaker and all that stuff and had the right settings, I could go in. I might have done that, but I figured this is more, um, I have more control of this and see better what I'm doing versus uh, setting the BIOS settings, rebooting. Oh my God, nothing came up and now I'm froze. I'm bricked. All right, so let's pause this. And I'm going to, I'm just going to kill it. So let's just, I'm going to take this puppy down to 1.1. I'm just sliding her down. Ooh, baby. Just, there we go. I, and here's what I always do. Apply and test. I'm going to keep the clock speed where it's at, 3600. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I know this is dangerous mucking with it in Ryzen Master, but you can, I don't know. You got to be careful. It's like running um, the overclock thing for uh, Mac. What the hell was that thing called? Overdrive or, oh, I forget for the GPUs. Man, I totally forgot everything. Uh, where you set the overclock settings for the GPU, that tool, you got to be careful. All right, let's let the stress test run. We'll watch it together. It's enjoyable. I hope you can see that. All right. 1.1, 3600. Let's, I just go right to nice hash. Boom. Yay, run it. It's probably going to benchmark. I hate when it does that sometimes. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. This is, this is just a day, uh, this is a, a, a use case. This is a day-to-day uh, -day workflow. This is what you do. I mean, it's kind of boring, but it's always good sometimes to see other people go through it. As I come out, come, come up, uh, let's see, come out of this mode, this uh, boot up mode. Let's go ahead and do devices. <clears throat> I just want to do this core here. You see the 3900. Current temp is 42. I'm not using, I have a GPU on there because I wanted to see the uh, BIOS. So you have to run a GPU because uh, the Ryzen's don't have integrated graphics. You just can't plug into the motherboard and blah, see stuff. You got to have a video card on there so you can see the BIOS boot up. Right now I'm remoted in using remote, Google remote desktop, which is pretty decent. Uh, let's see, a lot better than, eh, I guess, same as TeamViewer, but let's go. But I think TeamViewer, you can take control of the workstation. Ah, same here, maybe. All right, let's rock. Oh, see, I always get this now and then. Permissions are at a min. So what I do, I just pause the little bastard. I tried everything. There's probably something I'm missing. And I just give it a second and start it back up. Boom, they're gone. All right, let's see what the temps come out. And the uh, old hasher. It takes a few minutes. So for, let's go, let's go to refresher, mental refresher. 161. 0 0.04164 at roughly under 60 Celsius. Under eh, 60 Celsius. Same, it's the same setting, so each thing's different. Oh, I know what the difference may be. Wait a minute. Seven is what I upgraded. The BIOS. Let's see if this has any effect on that by f making the BIOS the most current. Mine was about two plus years old, the last BIOS version. <clears throat> so now I got the most recent one. Boy, I think allergy season's in. I can't breathe. Eh. Oh, where are we at? Did I just do seven? Yeah. So 65, 65 at 1.1. Little, little, little higher, but again, it's not 85. So I'll take that all day. All right, let's see. And we'll do a summation on this in a minute. So we got uh, 1.1. We're running at zero... 0 0.04237, 0 0.043, 0 0.0432, 0 0.04, roughly the same, 167 fiat-wise, yep, exactly the same, 0 0.4343, yep, roughly the same, all roughly the same, and with uh, temperatures hovering around 60 Celsius, I like that the temperature's low, I like that the hash uh, rate are pretty much the same, around 12 kilohash a second. But is changing the voltage, CPU voltage, is it bad for the CPU? I don't know, man. We're going to find out. But uh, we'll see. I don't know. I just, I mean, they're saying just leave the thing run out of box. 3900 is run hot, but other people are saying they're running about 50 Celsius. So I knew something was wrong. It's got to be my motherboard's. That's got to be the common denominator here. And let's go look at the uh, dashboard again. Looking at the dashboard. 11.9. Oh, it didn't update yet. 11.9. Yeah. 
So here's here's number nine, Rocco nine. This has not been updated, and it's running at the default CPU setting. So you can see it's the same hash rate, 11.97, 11.99 kilohash second, higher temps. So I'm going to go into uh, number nine, and oh my God, 13 is running hot, and 13 and drop those voltages down to 1.1. Hell, I could even do 1.0. I think that's what I read on the video the guy mentioned. He read or whatever. The uh, 3900 likes to be between 1.0 and 1.1. I may be wrong on that. Do not take my word for it. Do your own research before you fry your CPU. Well, this is good. I'm glad I, 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 I don't know. I'm glad I uh, didn't have to pop the uh, coolers off and add thermal paste. But I may still have to. We'll see. And again, like I said, my setup is these rigs are running out in the open. They're not in a case with... Uh, forced air flowing through them it's just they're hanging there like uh, sheets in the wind man all right we got 13 these little bastards are going in the 60s green is good green is good and uh let's see 11.9 they're all hovering about the same uh what is this one 12 see this one is the one with the default sense so you can say i mean you can see it dropped the temp the only big difference is it dropped the temperature by dropping the voltage so i'm going to go and do nine uh, 12 is a 3950. He seems to be happy. I'm not messing with him. I am not going to mess with that guy. I don't know enough about him. Uh, this one I will drop as well. So I got to do two more and we'll see if they all hover about 11.9, 12. I'm sure others are getting better, but my big goal here was to drop that temperature because that even with GPUs, that made me nervous running hot GPUs. The way I got around the GPU issues, mainly on those damn 3080 TIs. Holy crap. I had to go and get copper shims. That was the only thing that would cool those things down and not be burning red hot. Is uh, Thermal paste didn't work. Thermal pads suck. So I got um, copper put on as the shim, as the layer, instead of the thermal paste and pads. And then I put thermal tape around the outline memory on the outside surrounding the, uh, the um, GPU. Or the CPU. What the hell was it on? Oh, the GPU. Yeah, I'm, 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 in the, I'm thinking about Yeah, on the GPU processor. There's little memory farms around the, the uh, processor of the GPU. And I just put thermal tape around those. Had the copper shim. And sometimes the copper shim will cover the, the adjacent memories as well to protect it. So it's kind of neat. Good stuff, man. So copper mod. Boom, I sold those. That was expensive. I didn't make money on those damn GPUs. I made maybe 500 bucks out of spending 800. <laughs> Welcome to the real world. Uh, what else do we got? So that's what that was my project today, other than uh, cleaning up my daughter's room, which is a total disaster. Holy crap, man. That was fun. Want to get mad? Go into your kid's room. Holy crap. That's a... Uh, uh. All right, where are we at? So we're at 101.95. Woohoo! Never thought I'd see that. That's pretty nice. Again, is it real money? Eh, it's Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin goes to a million, that's cool. <laughs> it may not go up. Uh, so the lesson learned today is re uh, reset the BIOS just to make sure there's nothing floating out there like a turd that would um, be messing with my AMD CPU. All right, that didn't really make any headway with temperature-wise or even hash rate-wise. Uh, next thing was flash the BIOS to the latest. Boom, same issue. Uh, things were nominal, same as before. All right, enough of that crap. How much is the, uh, you know, how much... How much juice you want to get out of this squeeze? How much time do you want to waste on this? Uh, let's see. So I said, let's just go back to Ryzen Master. Knowing that it does have fail safes in there, if you start tweaking it too much, it's not going to let you set those settings, those profile settings, because it will uh, barf at you and reboot and say, no, 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 go back to default. So I'm going to hover right here at 1.1. Temps are good. Set the other two. Rinse and repeat. Let this thing run. Monitor it. Make sure nothing weird happens. If it starts constant rebooting, then I know I did something wrong with the voltage. Uh, and I'll just monitor them via these remote desktops, which is cool because I can see if they drop off based on the uh, browser tab. And I don't need to have a video card in every CPU rig, thus keeping down my power usage and my profile, my form factor, all that crap. It's nice to only have to pop in a GPU when I need to play with the BIOS crap. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna upgrade the other BIOSes. I don't need to. I don't think that's really pro or con at this point. Uh, so that's all I got. Hope this helps. Sorry about the other freaking videos with the OBS stuttering. I might make a, um, 
another video video using OBS and uh, I'm not going to post it because I don't want to play back a, like an hour stream. I don't have that time. Uh, I guess during the stream at work, but during the saving process, the damn thing hiccups. Pain in the butt, man. Pain in the butt. But uh, I'll look at that later. But YouTube, I mean, uh, YouTube. The iPhone works fine, man. I enjoy it. It's quick and dirty. Put a headset on. Record. Upload. Airdrop. Boom. Go to YouTube and you guys uh, hopefully find some value out, out of this. And with this stupid video... I'm hoping that someone says, dude, don't fuck with the voltage. You're going to fry your thing. But I'm looking at the results. So, and everything's been running for the, almost the past hour without any real issues, no alar alarms, nothing's rebooting and no smoke and fire. So, so good. So far, so good. So good so far, right? English hard. All right. Let me know what you guys have discovered. Hey man, if you guys like this, I'm getting some, some subs, which is kind of cool. I think you need uh, a lot more than I got now just to get to the point where you get monetized. But I don't know. I don't know if they're going to monetize me. You need so many watch hours. It's ridiculous. But this is fun. This is for a hobby. Uh, if you guys enjoy it, have any suggestions, please post them. Uh, I am not the best. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm just trying to share information, keeping things real, and show you the real, real world numbers. Uh, please don't go out and spend money on hardware because I don't see at this rate you're going to recoup your money. If you want $100 in Bitcoin, go buy $100 in Bitcoin. And you're, boom, you know, and maybe dollar cost average 25 bucks a week just to hit the highs and lows. Because, you know, Bitcoin goes up and down, man. Now, you can always count on it going back down. It's at 30, oh my God, I know, I just keep rambling on, but it's fun. Bitcoin is at, whoa, where'd it go? I scrolled too fast. Wow, look at that. Yeah, it's up 1,000, man. It might drop down to 36. When I see some more red, I might buy, you know, dollar cost average in. Uh, well, I only buy on the reds now, man. I learned my lesson. Don't buy when it's going up. It's the, it's the fear of missing out crap. And guess what? It's going to go down. You're going to be left holding that bag and have a negative gain. And that's never a good thing because you'll be sitting on that negative gain for a year or two <laughs> without receiving dividends or anything. So hope that helps. Oh, look at Litecoin. I wish that would go up. Like I said, the 4,400. 4, 4, yeah, I'll go buy another house. All right, let's see. Don't buy a house, man. If you're going to rent, rent. Oh, I saw another video. Oh, my God. If you guys want to hear videos about not just the uh, traditional finance crap that has worked well for me, but uh, owning a house versus renting a house. Yeah, interesting. Interesting when you run the numbers, man. And then I'm not going to get into it. It's a whole video. Whole video. All right, that's all I got. Any, any uh, input on these freaking voltage settings and dropping a temp? If you think that's a plus or, or don't do that, let me know because um, I like what I'm seeing now and I'm going to stick with it and just monitor it. If anything bad happens, I'll definitely post it because it makes for interesting, entertaining content. <laughs> yeah, this guy, you'll be like, hey, that guy's going to fry his rigs. And then you'll come back tomorrow and watch a video. All my rigs melted. <laughs> and then we'll literally have a fire sale. We'll probably just go and get a hammer and smash up the motherboards. Oh, my God. All right. All right, guys. Go for it. Subscribe, like. Likes help. Uh, help that YouTube algorithm. And uh, go for it. Do great things. How do I stop this damn thing? All right. Hold on, man. I'm, I forgot I wasn't on OBS. I'm on the phone. Uh, let's do it. So talk to you later.